Hello everyone, welcome to another Foxtech tutorial. This time we talk about the general problems of iPhone's Safari, what you can do in case Safari does not work properly. And uh, there are many things which you can do, but let me begin with the most important one. Because if you open up the App Store, you can easily see which apps need to be updated. You can always just go in here, find the updates and stuff, look up some different apps to see if you don't have any updates already, but you can't find Safari there. The only way to update Safari is to update the entire iOS. So the best way to would be to update your entire iPhone to the latest version of iOS, and that way you can also update your Safari by extension. So that would be the first option. Now, the next thing is really depending on which actual problem you have with your Safari, because you may have noticed that you cannot access the internet through it properly, and this may be caused by your poor internet connection. So you can either just decide that you just switch to a different Wi-Fi that you have like a better cellular plan, or it is possible that your iPhone doesn't even have access to uh, the mobile data when it comes to Safari. If I just bring another iPhone in here, for example, this one right here, and let me just show it to you by opening up the settings. You can see that I have the cellular section in here. And if I go in here and scroll down, you can see every single app is listed in here. And this means that only the apps which have the green check next to it can access Safari websites. So there is the possibility that if you go to the cellular, you don't have the Safari enabled. And in this case, you can only use a Safari with Wi-Fi. And in case you don't have Wi-Fi and you are only on the cellular network, you can see I'm on 5G. In that case, I'm just not going to be able to use Safari at all, which is pretty annoying, but this is just how it is. So in case you use the mobile data, make sure that Safari has access to the cellular data plan so you can actually use it for accessing the internet. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the All Apps Explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. Now, the next thing which you can do is to clear data and history of Safari. So if you just go to the settings of your iPhone, scroll down and find the Safari section, make sure to go in here, scroll down, and there's the blue button saying clear history and website data. Multiple options in here. You can also just enable close all tabs. This is going to reset everything. And the, the way I like to do it is by just clicking on all history. I just clear history altogether. You have to wait for everything to go through, but at the end of the day, you have cleared every single thing, and that's how you know that nothing is wrong with your uh, Safari. Everything is reset, especially if you also updated your iOS. You know that you have the latest version of Safari alongside a clear and clean slate, so that's really good. Also, there are some different things. For example, if you have a problem with Safari and you use VPN, try disabling the VPN for just a short period of time and test out the Safari once again. Chances are that this was actually the problem to begin with. In case your iPhone couldn't access any websites, perhaps the VPN and turning it off is going to fix it. Who knows? Also, the next thing you can do is to reset a network settings because to access internet through Safari, you need to have network connection and something could be going on with that so open up the settings go to the general scroll down tap on transfer or reset tap on reset and network setting option is right here so you just confirm it and it's just going to be done after some time so this is the next option Another possibility, just like I explained in one of my older videos, is that you simply type in the incorrect URL. Because if I just go to, uh, I use this example a lot, Apple, I'm going to type in apple.com. But let's say I just make a typo and I don't, don't type the o.com, but I type in k. So apple.ckm. I'm just going to get in here. It connected me automatically because it corrected uh, that. But if I just go to the apple.ckm, Safari can't open the page because it just doesn't exist. 
The website is simply made up. There is no such thing as apple.ckm, only apple.com. So in that case, just make sure that your link is valid. A lot of people don't even type their URLs in anymore, but it's possible that you clicked on a link which is an incorrect one. Who knows what's going to happen? So yeah, just always do that and just make sure that you have a correct functional link. And just like all the time, whenever you have a problem with Safari and you want to make sure if there is a problem with the connection, with the device or with the server, the next thing you can do is to open up the App Store and download some kind of different web browser. Let's say it's going to be Google Chrome or Firefox, whichever one it is, just try to download a different one, access the very same link, the very same website, and that way you'll see if the problem is in a Safari or generally in the connection or anywhere else. So yeah. Anyways, these are all the things which I wanted to show you. That's going to be a wrap up for today. I hope you found this video useful. For more information about this topic, subscribe to the Fox tag. You definitely don't want to miss the next uploads and the next videos. Also leave a thumbs up and I will see you in the future. Peace out until then.